In this video, I'm going to go over the simple page on the sample layer of pad motion. If you're familiar with any of our other products, you'll notice that the bulk of this page is identical to the other simple pages, say in Poly or Wave. At the top, we have the simple and advanced tabs, so you can switch between those two. You have a bypass for the layer. We have a low pass filter cutoff and a low pass filter resonance, pan, main volume, a meter, coarse tune, octave tune, then you have the ability to enable or disable the MIDI player and the ARP from this page as well. You also have the octave control for ARP. And then you have the high pass filter cutoff and the high pass filter resonance. Now what's going to be different about this page uh, compared to the other simple pages is the oscillator section. Since this is a sample layer, you're just going to see sample controls for this. So at the very top here, we have the sample layer preset browser. And in here, you can find over 680 different uh, sample presets to choose from. When I change it to something else, you'll notice that the waveform display changes according to whatever sample you're on. This highlighted region here is going to be your looped region of the sample. Then we have the playback mode. So you can choose between normal, reverse, one shot, or reverse one shot. We have sample start, sample end. Uh, you have loop mode, so you have a variety of different loop modes to choose from, or you can choose to have no loop. Um, then we have loop start and loop end. Working our way down, we have the ADSR, standard ADSR for the amplitude envelope. You've got attack, decay, sustain, release, and then you have an amplitude velocity control there. To the right of that, we have the filter. You can turn this on or off. We have the cutoff, many different uh, filter types. Resonance, envelope amount, and distortion. And you have a few different types of distortion that you can choose from as well. You also have the filter velocity there. Working our way down, we've got the motion. In the motion, uh, you have two pre-assigned LFOs, one for volume, one for pan, and they're identical in functionality. You can bypass them both. You can choose the waveform type, retrigger mode, there's an amount, a rate, you have the shape, and the phase. And like I said, it's identical over here with the pan. And then lastly, we have the mo uh, modulation section. Uh, this is pretty much where you will assign what the mod wheel will control or even the aftertouch. You can turn them both on or off via these switches. You can specify the amount, it will affect the destination. So right now we have it on cutoff, but you can choose it from a few other choices there. So that wraps up the simple page for the sample layer in pad motion.